So um, today I want to talk about boosting React Native with our NPM. Uh, but before we start, I'd like to uh, introduce myself. I'm Mike, uh, and obviously I do. Uh, I, ba I basically made um, our NPM with Alexia, who's here on stage sitting in the first row as well. Um, and uh, we also contribute to React Native, so if you are following the React Native development, you may recognize us from some releases and pull requests, so um, you can come after the lightning talk and say hi. Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about what RMPM is, but before I do this, I, I'd like to ask you who, how many of you have ever like, heard about RMPM or used it in any of your projects? Oh, that's quite cool, actually. I was expecting no one to raise the hand, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so basically RMPM itself is divided into, um, into three parts, actually. Uh, there is the core part that basically is uh, responsible for running your plugins and commons. And there are these independent plugins, like there is the RMPM plugin link that you probably uh, know the most because that's the most popular part that you use to link your native dependencies. And we also have the install plugin that installs your dependencies and uninstalls them. So that's the current state of RMPM. Uh, and we made it in a way that you can extend it. So today I'd like to talk about how to actually extend RMPM with your own tools and how to adjust it to your project specific needs. So the setup's pretty simple because every plugin is just uh, a node, per, uh, I mean NPM, NPM package. So what you have to do is you have to just init your project. Um, actually the package name has to be RMPM plugin and the name so RMPM can detect it. And then you have to define a main file, main file in your package JSON that will just point to uh, the entry point of your plugin. Uh, the entry point is just an array of comments that your plugin exports. In this case, I just made a, a dummy plugin that defines a build function. Uh, it has some description and you can pass a flag, no cache, and just in case. So that's all you have to do in order to uh, define your plugin. Um, there, is a, there are a couple of other options in regards to options because you can also validate them. You can also make a default value, as in this case, so that's pretty cool. And once that's done, you can just npm link uh, or npm plugin build into your project or you can npm install it. Uh, the, the important thing is it has to be installed in your, uh, in your package, so it has to be present in node modules in order for npm to recognize it. And once that's done, you can just call npm build no cache and, um, and that's going to work. Um, so on the previous slide, we've seen that you can make an entry file that defines some, some comments. And uh, a comment is a function, as in this example, build function is a function that receives three arguments. Uh, the first one is RMPM itself, that gives you some cool features we'll discuss um, in later slides. Uh, there is the args uh, argument, which is an array of extra arguments uh, that your function, uh, that your command can receive, like a package name, you often pass a package name to link, so that's, the, that, that's, that's where it's defined. And the op options, which is a, a, an object of all the options that we have defined for our, um, for our plugin. For example, uh, no cache, as we've seen um, on the previous slide. And uh, in regards to RMPM, the first variable your function receives, um, it has two functions. Uh, it has the get project config and it has the get dependency config. Uh, you know, the most important thing for RMPM we wanted to, to support was uh, we wanted to make it easy to support any project, any structure, any, fi any kind of files uh, with a super easy and convenient way. And this is approached by these two functions that return you an object that contains iOS and Android properties. Uh, if either of them is missing, then it means the current project doesn't have, for example, Android code. Um, so once you call these functions and you get this object, you can console log the iOS part, for example, and, um, and you can you can see that there are some properties here, like project name, source dir folder, uh, export x project path, and the Android config has some Android specific properties you can also use in order to, for example, build your project, or to, mm, um, I don't know, just, 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 just do whatever you want. Um, and actually, this should be next. Um, in this example, we are getting the project config and we are accessing the iOS, and then we are using the x, pro, x project path in order to parse the project and get some properties. And that's how RMPM link works under the hood. So, um, so it means that we do not use any private API. All of our plugins are built on top of the public API we export. So you can do pretty much everything you want. It's, I guess, up to, um, up to your project use case. So, so yeah, as I said, we are really excited to see what you guys will build with the RMPM because we wanted it to be for developers, for you. So it's like we built the link, but we still believe you will have some other exciting ideas to come up with. 
And there is one more thing we have uh, actually to announce today. If you were following React Native development, you may have heard that we were about to merge RMPM to React Native. There was a pull request, there were some tweets last week. Uh, and today, uh, we are proud to announce that we are merging a React RMPM link to React Native. So starting from next release, you won't have to install RMPM itself. Thank you.